Hi, I'm Lindsay Fimmick, and welcome to Primera Presents. Today I'm going to talk about LEDs, one of the most buzzed about lighting technologies available on the market today. LEDs, or light emitting diodes, are kind of like a new car model. The model is shiny, sleek, right off the assembly line, and sounds great. But honestly, you may want to just let those early adopting car fanatics take the test drive. After the kinks are worked out, then it might be the right time to visit the car dealership. So, those early adopters have invested, and now this technology is becoming more practical. So what do you need to know before you hop in the driver's seat? As a lighting designer and electrical engineer who researches and specifies LED applications, I hope I can shed some light on questions and clarify some common myths surrounding LEDs. Question 1. Are LEDs energy efficient? Well, the answer is yes, some are, and some are not. So let's look at LEDs against compact fluorescence and linear fluorescence, which are most typically used for energy efficient commercial lighting. If you compare the efficacy of actual lighting fixtures, which is the light output to energy consumed, you will notice that today's LED is competing very strongly with compact fluorescent, but it's still lagging quite a bit behind linear fluorescent. The major technological inhibitor for LED efficiency is the method in which we create white light. You may have noticed that LED Christmas lights have a bluer tint than we're used to. This is also true for super efficient LEDs in the commercial arena. That blue light is due to the mixture of phosphors over super efficient blue LEDs, and the phosphors have a significant impact on light output. In order to get the white light we're used to, more phosphors are needed and the efficiency is greatly reduced. So for now, stick with the lower wattage LED fixtures that would replace applications where you would typically use compact fluorescence for incandescence. Question two. This is a common claim. Do LEDs last forever? LEDs last forever? Well, you know, so the story goes. The truth is that an LED may very well keep right on burning forever and ever. But the LED will dim over time just like any other light source. The good news is, an LED decreases light output slowly and steadily over time. So it's not until you're at 50,000 hours, or about 16 years for the typical commercial office, that the light is too dim to use. So, with all of the applications available on the market today, it's tough to tell which applications still need that test drive or are ready for practical use. What applications are ready and not so ready for your project? Here's my favorite, exterior lighting. All types of exterior lighting fixtures have LED options today. One of the best applications is parking lots and area lighting. LEDs are almost always a better energy package than your typical metal halide and high pressure sodium. They cannot yet compete with induction lighting on life, but LED fixtures do have more stylish fixtures and options on the market than induction lighting fixtures. Here's another good application, interior lighting. LEDs are a great option to replace applications where a compact fluorescent is normally used. A few examples are down lights, decorative sconces or decorative pendants, task lights, and step lights. LEDs are not quite powerful or effective today to compete with 50 watt and above for interiors and 150 watt or above for exteriors. This means we're not quite there for areas requiring high light levels, but we will be there soon. Now that I've hopefully answered a few of your questions, I want to give you some tips to remember. If you're thinking about incorporating LEDs into your next project, here are the top three things you should consider. Number one, trust your manufacturer. Know you're getting what you paid for and that the manufacturer has your back should anything go wrong. Number two, keep your LEDs cool. The life can be significantly reduced if your LEDs are above their ideal operating temperature. And number three, Compare the light output and wattage to cheaper, more traditional light sources before you make that big investment. Primera continues to be an effective and active member of the LED Emerging Technologies, and we hope to be your lighting resource on upcoming projects. Thanks for listening, and feel free to contact us for more information. This is Lindsay Fimmick with Primera Engineers.